What's up? This is Alan Ander here, and I'm here to do a quick review on iWork 09. Um, here on the screen, I uh, have Pages 09. You can see when you first launch it, it lets you choose a, var a variety of templates, which is anything from envelopes to forms to resumes to reports. So here's one here. I might want to do a research paper most often, so I'll go ahead and choose it here. So, you know. I think one of the new features in iWork 09 was the ability to, uh, I have no idea actually. Well, actually, here's one, it's up here. It's called iWork.com. So, Arden gives us a report, maybe in physics. I fill some information here and put my instructions, name, things like that. I don't know what this Lauren Ibsen Dollar Ahmed text is. I think it's like a preset where you just enter your text. So, so uh, I know a, a good feature from the whole iWork suite is iWork.com. So when you click it, it actually um, opens mail, and you can actually send it to other people. So I'll order to send it. I'll send it to a backup email I have here. I can just some. I can just. Uh, I mean, I can send it to my professor, my instructor, and say. Hey, check out my research paper. See what you think. And I can also allow the person who sees it to leave comments and to also download the document for my teacher if he wants to grade it, etc. So I click on share here. So it's going to generate the document and it's going to upload it directly to iWork.com. And I'm not going to link. I'm not going to get a link to it, but the person who um, is getting the mail will. Um, it says your document cannot be viewed on iWork.com and the document will expire in 120 days. So view the document here. And you can see how iWork documents are already there. So I need to log in. Apparently, I think it needs my information. I don't know if I need my at Gmail. Okay. Let me just enter that real quick. And the password. Wow, it doesn't want to work. Okay. Let's see, I wonder why. Either I have it on another Apple ID or not. Okay. It's weird. Let me try it again. All right, there we go. It was in a different Apple ID. So here's the document. It's pretty much there. Here's some document notes, the people who can see it. I can also add more viewers, add their name and their email. And I can also type a note here. So like, um, let's see the person didn't respond. I'm like, what don't what didn't you like about it? How can I improve it? And this is this is great. So when I send it to my teachers, you know, I can actually I'm doing my work and I can I can actually I can actually ask for help by email. Ask for improvements, and you know they can't. I don't think they can edit it, but I think they, they can download it. I can also change the view over here. Show the navigator, which, is, which shows different slides, like if you were doing a keynote. Add comments, hide all comments. I can add a comment here. So, for example, they can choose some sort of text. They can say, uh, "Do better work at indenting." Capitalization, etc. Post, and the note will actually be there already. So when, when I see the comment, they'll be like, I can actually read it and say, Oh, okay. So this is uh, our work.com and pages. I actually do like a lot though, especially when I make charts and things. I can actually choose different um, things I want to do. It actually puts a chart right in the middle of my page, ready to work. Maybe a lot of features we've seen already in previous versions, but I don't know. Maybe with this introduction of iWork.com, things got a lot better. Maybe I should skip pages and numbers and go straight to Keynote, because there's actually a cool feature I want to show you in Keynote. Let me just launch it here. And that's because on my iPhone, I do have a program called the Keynote Remote. So, uh, so here's Keynote. And I'm going to go ahead and open a slide. So I'm going to go ahead and put 
1509, testing the remote, so I'm like, I can okay, enter a new slide, of course. For example, see keynote notes from your iPhone right up touch. It's literally the same thing to me. And you can also uh, swipe through different slides back and forth. So what I'm going to do. I think that's the f oh okay. I need to put a new slide. I'll put it up here. I'll call it the Slide Master. So I'm gonna do this as quick as I can to make the video short. All right. So I'm gonna do. Here's my iPhone here. I'm gonna launch Keynote Remote right there. So when it launches. I already have it linked up to my MacBook Pro. So it already knows this keynote's open. It already connected kind of automatically. When you first do this though, you actually have to link up your your keynote. So you have to enter that password on your Mac. And once you do that, you're, you're really ready to go. So you already have your slideshow open. What you're gonna do is just press play slideshow. And I'm gonna do this live. Play slideshow, it automatically went um white screen here. So I have it on landscape, and it shows me my current and my next slide, just so I can, so I can be ready. That's really it. You know, I can actually slide between them, as you can see. Left, right, left, right. And I didn't really put any notes in any of the slides, so you can't see that little um, theme paper in the bottom, which shows you everything. So after you finish sliding your last slide, you go back to your OS 10. So that's Keynote. Um, and of course, you can also publish this. On iWork.com, if you want. You know, it's really simple. My first keynote, I guess, lol. And the cool thing is, iWork.com is free with your purchase of iWork 09. You don't really need mobile me or anything. All you need is an Apple ID, and you don't really need anything else. It's really nice to have that occurrence. So, ooh, this Kino is actually longer, 2.5 megabytes, especially since you're counting all those slides. But, um, yeah. So, just a few more seconds remaining. So, I hope it's Safari. Let's see how it, things look in Keynote. View document now. Loading your document. That should already have been logged in. And there it is. So, I can actually, it's really the same thing. Look at the slide, make other people see it. Awesome slide. Never mind, it sucks. I don't know. Put a little humor there. So that's a quick video of iWork09. So this is Alan Ander. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my videos, um, rate them if you want. And um, I'll be posting more videos soon. My MacBook Pro unboxing will be coming really, really, really soon. Just go ahead and stay tuned to my channel. Subscribing always helps. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.